Blessings and peace on this May 5th. For me, it is Endurance Week. And I'm going to start with a quote from the book of James, which is really strange for me, but there it is. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. So I'm not ever sure we can lack nothing, but when it comes to our journey of faith, we can try. The story I want to share today is the story of the wilderness journey itself, that Exodus journey. So the Hebrew people have been given their freedom from Pharaoh, and they have crossed over the sea, and they're beginning, they're in this great journey. Moses sends these 12, they say spies, one from each of the tribes, into the land of Canaan to explore it. And what Scripture says, the book of Numbers, is that the men return with this bunch of grapes that is so huge and heavy that it takes two men to get people. Now, if you will recall, the land of Canaan has been promised uh, to the Hebrew people, and it's been promised, this is part of the Abrahamic promise, and as the men return, 10 of the 12 are not going to trust in the promise. They are afraid, afraid of what they have seen and encountered. But two of the 10, they in the promise uh, than Joshua. And they think they can, that God, well, they believe, have faith that God is going to do what God has promised. But because of the other 10, they convince the people they can't do this, so boop, back out into the desert they go. 40 years, and they have to learn this lesson. So what we have is something that can either look like punishment, right? Or it can learn a lesson for the people. It can be a time of, well, endurance, because what we have is if the leaders of the beginning have passed on, what they have to pass on is a legacy of faith through the generations, right? We transition of leadership. This desert, this wilderness journey, this story that we have is a treasure for us now. And we return to it each Lent because Jesus goes into the wilderness and the scriptures bring it back for us. But this Exodus theme that we have is a great treasure trove, I think, for us in teaching and learning now. There's a harsh learning, but I think our richest and most powerful stories are sometimes those harsh learning. The lessons that they hold they get absorbed and we can absorb them as individuals and by way of public life. Part of what they can teach us is that those immediate victories and triumphs inevitably are followed by these letdowns and frustrations and disappointments. So begin to see that you have to trust God in those good times and in the frustrating times. So it was really easy for the Jewish people, the Hebrew people, to celebrate and to see God when they were in this time of exaltation and dancing because the oppressor um, had been put down and they were set free and their dreams were right there. But then there's immediately these problems and they were all sullen and hard hearted and they turned rebellious. So food and water and shelter were hard to come by. And so they get angry at Moses, right? And they get angry at God. We also see that God, of course, gets angry at the Hebrew people, which is this fascinating thing to see. But to really start to learn 
and hopefully you'll take some time to turn to it and and read these exchanges between Moses and God and the people and Moses and you see that not only of course does God take care of God's people but you see through it all that they endure they endure even when it's not pretty but the lessons they learn because they go through this are left to us today and since it was the cloud leading them into me i choose this from hebrews 12 therefore since we have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us let us lay aside every weight or sin that so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is before us so that endurance that we have to make it through is that legacy of faith that we have from our ancestors of faith and may we endure not just this week but may we find those blessings of joy as we make it through these times and all times because god is with us and thanks be to god for that amen